Here's a unique tool that's ideally suited for marking centers on objects that are larger than your machine's travel. If this piece were 20 feet long, suddenly this becomes one of the most accurate ways that I can think of. And it can also be used to scribe lines. Here we're counterboring the bottom of a T-nut for a special purpose. A flange was welded to a set screw to create the assembly that you see here. What we've created is a hidden fastener. This allows the face, OD, and ID to machine all in one go. Calipers are the best tweezers ever invented. Here we are re-threading on a Haas lathe. A simple M19 is commanded, which orients the spindle. The tool is then jogged into place, visually aligning everything. It's a good idea to add plenty of lead in and lead out, both in front and behind the part when you run this type of cycle. We were able to save hundreds of parts for our customer and thousands of dollars, and that helps win business going down the road. Slitting saws can be used for many purposes. Here we're creating two components from one. Here we've created an adapter to hold this large single flute countersink in a cordless drill. Before you roast me in the comments, the adapter is spinning true. The countersink's just out of balance because it only has one flute. Bar pullers are one of the best ways to automate production without breaking the bank. Round parts can be held in a mill with a setup like you see here.